Welcome to this month's edition of Portside with the Pilots. I'm your host, Jamie Hudson. We are a few weeks into the fall semester here at the University of Portland, and with plenty of action going on in UP athletics, let's get right to it. Coming up, find out who was able to take down a five pound calzone in under an hour in the first annual Portside Calzone Challenge. Plus a preview of the men's basketball season and what it means to write your own. But first, Freshman Orientation Week is a special time on the bluff. It's the first chance for new University of Portland students to connect to the campus academically and socially for the first time. A big part of that connection is the first soccer match of the season. This year's orientation game was the men's soccer team taking on Michigan State, the ninth ranked team in the country. With many pregame festivities, including the annual Bite on the Bluff, it was a special night at Merlot Field with 4,600 fans in attendance for opening night, including over 2,300 students. That particular weekend, the way we blend tailgating with, with Bite on the Bluff really shows it's more than just a normal college soccer match. Thank you. It's very unique, but it's a big part of pilot soccer. Our orientation is all about students connecting into the campus. On Friday, they start to get oriented into the larger campus and uh, university into academic life. And I think it leads really nicely into the soccer game uh, that we traditionally have on Friday night. It's important to get our student body and our new students this year, about 950 strong, to have them experience pilot soccer in their first 24, 48 hours on campus. For 45 minutes of our warm-up, we had everyone there already doing the chants. That's just something that I think is really special to UP and makes this kind of more than just a soccer game. All the freshmen are involved, and so it's more than just us. It's about something more than just the team. I think the energy, especially of that first game, is just incredible. All of a sudden, all of these individual hall communities come together into one campus community, and I think it's really exciting that they get to be part of that from the very first weekend that they're on campus. I looked at it looking at it, as we were running over, we were throwing out t-shirts, and I was looking at it, and it was pretty cool, and I think they did a great job on it. I liked how it was, it was simple, but it like got the message across. I was pretty excited by it. The whole warm up, you're smiling, you try to get in that perfect spot of bliss where you're calm and ready to go, but you're also enjoying the moment because you know this is our first home game with the freshman orientation weekend. and You've got packed crowds in front of you and behind you and it's just unreal feeling, nothing quite like it. The Portland women's soccer program is immensely proud of their traditions. And that's just as evident today as it was back in the 1990s and early 2000s. Whether on the field, in the stands, or in the locker room, traditions that were established by different generations of pilots have been passed down through the years. And the 2015 pilots are more than happy to follow these rituals. It's what connects them to the pilots of the past. And while players do move on after each season, thankfully, tradition never graduates. You hear a phrase here called tradition never graduates and I think it's just a way for us to kind of connect with the players that were here before us and just keep things going the way that it was going when they were here. When I was a sophomore, the trainer's name was Tom Fragoso and he took care of us so well but every single day when we went into the training room he had country music playing and country music just wasn't getting us very excited for the game. That same year, Michael Jackson came out with that historical compilation CD and we brought it into the training room and it just stuck. It ended up becoming like the most exciting part before every home game because we'd all kind of get ready to do our own thing in the locker room and then that's where we'd all kind of meet up and everyone would be there and that's when like the energy really started to build. Polishing our cleats is important to us because it's part of looking professional and acting professional and you look good when you step on the field. That's how people viewed our team with such unison and such professionalism that we were always together and polished and ready to go. The sound of the studs on the concrete is nostalgic for, I think, all alums. From the locker room to the field, you just get that, that little change and the ground feels like under your feet. And I think that's just when everyone starts to get chills. Everyone knows that the game's about to start. 
Our assistant coach, Lisa Chambers, always gets us going with ball between two and make sure that we're right for practice. It's just been a tradition. It's a great way to kick off practice. I could hit a ball back and forth with someone all day long. I love it. And I think all alums will remember that for practice. They've done it since the beginning of what Clive started here. When they walk out on the field, there's a legion of alums that are, are behind them regardless of of what happens on the field, they're, they're there for them and, and you know it's that little extra energy boost you know maybe before they go out on the field. It's really awesome to see that there's always a connection between the alums and the current team and what they did here and what we're doing here still with them. Coming up on Port Side, a look at the men's basketball offseason and their theme for the 2015-2016 season.